to yet another video, guys. I've missed you. It's been a long, long week. And if you're new here, welcome. Glad to have you here. I'm Josh. I just recently did 50 daily vlogs, but today is the first of my weekly videos, and I'd love for you to be a part of it. I always see these crazy cool pictures all over Instagram of people taking pictures of their iced coffee where they like pour the milk in and it makes these like beautiful clouds and just mixes together and looks super cool and I want it. I need it. <laughs> I love iced coffee and I'm always amazed by the way it looks and today's mission is to find the best way to capture it. I want to go through that whole process so that you don't have to and then by the end of this video you'll know how to take the perfect iced coffee photos for yourself and you can trust that it's going to be super simple because I don't have any professional lighting or anything like that. All I have is the sun, some iced coffee, and some little DIY extras that we can mess around with. So this is the first little DIY setup I have here in front of my window. I've just got our cutting board propped up on two boxes with the artboard behind it for a black background. But it's giving me some wacky shadows, so I think I'm going to open the blinds and try hang a sheet in front of it and see if that helps. And of course, then I need to bring the coffee. So this is the final setup for now. I turned everything around to face the window because that actually made nicer light like wrapping around the sides of the glass and put the sheet up for some diffusion and this is the shot that we're getting right now there's me in the background i think that's good i think we're gonna stick with that for now let's go get the coffee okay i just did the first shot this is the type of result we're getting, which I am super happy with. I would like a little bit more light on the bottom to make it a bit more crisp. Time for take two. So I switched out to this like stemless wine glass type glass. And I actually think this is my favorite one. I'm super happy with the result. Here's a little look at that. I'm super stoked with this one. I'm, I'm really happy with that. I'm actually so stoked with the results so far. I really didn't think it would go like this on my first setup, but I really love how this lighting looks. It's around two o'clock, so the sun's like peak in my window. Got the sheet up, got that blackboard behind it. It's worked out really well, so I think I'm just gonna stick with this. So I was just having a look at some of the pictures of that last take in camera, and I actually took it at a bit too low of an angle for me. I wanted to see a bit of the wood board, like in this photo that I took afterwards. So before I pack this all up for the day, I think I'm gonna do one last take, a little bit of a higher angle, and then we can get into Lightroom. Okay, now it's time to hop into Lightroom. Let's edit these photos. I don't care what people say or how cold it is, iced coffee will always be refreshing and good. And just in case you're curious, on the top right by the histogram, you can see all the camera settings that I used for each photo. So I'm just gonna go through these real quick and find all my selects, and then I'll chat to you guys again. Do you guys prefer where you can actually see the cutting board or just that little white line? I think they both look awesome, but I think I prefer the one from the lower angle. It just looks a bit more clean and awesome, even though I really love the look of this dark wood. That's what she said. <laughs> I did not just say that. <laughs> I'm going to make a little bit of a filter. I need this to be smaller. I know that looks horrid right now, but just trust me for a second. It's going to be worth it in the end. Bring the exposure up. Oh, that looks beautiful. Beautiful. Some contrast, no, that's fine. I do want some clarity. Oh yes, there we go. Clarity, clarity always makes the photos look better. Always, that's amazing. <laughs> that's great, I love that. Okay, maybe not on 100 though. <laughs> Let's bring that down just a little bit. I mean, look at that, come on. You can't even really compare the two miles different. <laughs> I'm sorry if it like sounds like I'm being narcissistic, but I just, I'm really stoked about how this came out. I genuinely didn't actually expect this. <sighs> Make an edit on the first one, select them all, and then hit sync, and it'll copy your edit onto all of the pictures. 
that's how you apply to all. You're welcome. Again, I'm here figuring this stuff out so you don't have to. Hope it helps. <laughs> same thing here again so I'm not gonna show you that whole process okay there is one thing I want to mention here these milk droplets where we spilt a little bit I want to show you how I would get rid of these in Photoshop so you'd right click say edit in Photoshop that should take you right over to Photoshop eventually <laughs> okay so I've got the um, healing brush tool selected and I'm gonna make this a little bigger because the droplets are a bit bigger bring the Hardness down quite a lot. How big is this? Okay, I think that's good. Let's see If I can get rid of these. Oh, perfect 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 and voila, it's like they never existed after that you can just hit save it automatically save to Lightroom and then you're good to go Okay, so these are my favorites from today. I am so happy with these and of course this isn't the last time I'm gonna shoot so I'm super happy with these for a first attempt like I said so many other times in this video already I am super surprised at how these came out I'm really happy with them and it's given me so many ideas of more things to do using this lighting setup like I want to do this with a glass coke bottle a beer pour put the vintage cameras on there some plants some cool things like that I'm really gonna keep using these techniques and making more cool photos and obviously including you guys and I always love chatting to you guys and that's one of the things I missed the most in the last week so if you guys have something on your mind something you want to say something about this video drop it all in the comments below and we can start a little chat and as always thanks so much for watching this entire video I really appreciate each and every one of you guys and I'll see you in the next one Frosty the snowman Why? Why that song now? Why is that the one that's in my head? <laughs> How to apply to all in Lightroom